Hey thinkers, my name is Miss No, and today we're going to talk about the water cycle. What is the water cycle? So what is the water cycle? Where do clouds and rain come from? How old is the water on Earth? The water cycle, huh? All right, Miss No. Hey everybody, I'm Miss Information. And you know what? See, here's the thing. I already know this. I mean, new water is just created when it rains or snows. Water is not really created. We don't make water in a factory. The water on planet Earth is actually billions of years old, and it's continuously recycled through the water cycle. Oh. Well, I mean, water just disappears when it evaporates. I mean, I saw a magic trick once where they made this like rabbit disappear. Water does the same thing. It just goes gone. Water is not created or destroyed. Just because it's going up into the clouds doesn't mean that it's disappearing and going away forever. It's just going through part of its cycle. Ah, oh, all right. So when it evaporates, it doesn't just disappear, but I know when it does. I bet you guys do too. That's when it rains or snows, it just sinks into the ground and then it disappears. Just because we can't see water when it soaks into the ground, just like evaporation, doesn't mean it's disappearing. When water rains down and soaks into the earth like a sponge, that water is eventually going to make its way to another source of water, such as a stream or a river, a lake, even an ocean. This is the water cycle. So the first step we're going to talk about is precipitation. Precipitation is the process of rain or snow falling from the sky to the ground. So now that the rain is falling from the sky, water is collected in the process of collection. And that's when the rain soaks into the soil, into the ground, and into the plants, and then collects in bodies of water like streams and lakes and oceans. You know what? I have a collection. I have a collection of a whole bunch of little figurines, and one of them, my favorite one, is Baby Yoda, but that's not what we're talking about. So now that the water is collected, it's gonna go through another step. This next step is called evaporation. Evaporation is fueled by the sun. So when some of that water on Earth heats up enough by the sun, it's gonna actually turn into a gas and it's gonna rise. This is known as water vapor. She said gas. The last step, condensation, occurs when those water vapors that are now evaporating into the atmosphere collect up into the clouds. Those water vapors actually go through another transformation now. As they rise into the atmosphere, the temperature cools and the water vapors turn back into a liquid. I'd like to transform. You know what I'd like to transform into? A fashion model. <laughs> Let's do an experiment. All right, misinformation. What are you observing? Well, there's smoke coming out of that hot water and it's collecting up in that glass. Okay, so you're exactly right. It does look like smoke, but what's actually happening is the water is being heated up enough to where it's turning from a liquid into a vapor. And just like the water cycle, when water turns into vapor, it rises into the atmosphere. Look, 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 look. I see a drop. It's going to come down. There it goes. <laughs> So that's exactly what happens with the water cycle. Once the clouds get heavy enough with those water droplets, they are going to drip down and precipitate. Whoa, whoa. So now in the world around you, when you guys are outside, you can observe the world. You can check out the water cycle in the clouds, in the rivers, in the rain. Yes, and if you see really awesome examples of the water cycle, let's say a puddle, a rainstorm, take a picture of it and hashtag it, hashtag the living think. And we'll see you next time. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and learned what is the water cycle. But don't forget, 
we'd love for you to follow us and subscribe to our channel, which is there, here, one of those places we never really know. But please keep in mind that no matter what you do, you're always part of us here at The Living Think.